Have you been trying to embrace some more self-love and feeling called to try something different to help you with this intention? I got you, stay tuned. Hi lovely, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is your Law of Attraction Mindset Coach, Brie. And on this channel, you can find everything on Law of Attraction, manifesting, energy work, and self-development tips. And I appreciate you so much being here and tuning in because it shows your self-commitment to expanding your toolbox with new practices that you can use to help you release and help you embody what you're welcoming. And also at the end of this video, if you feel called in doing so, share it with a loved one who you believe will benefit from this art therapy activity that we are doing today. Because when you grow and the ones around you begin to grow, we all thrive as a collective. And before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so every single week when I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. So I haven't really spoken about it much, but in undergrad, I minored in art therapy because I absolutely love art and have always used it as a way for me to just express myself, get out of my head, and help me feel a little bit calmer when I am feeling anxious. So with my psych major, I felt like art therapy was just the perfect combination. And as I've been thinking about ways that I can continue to serve you, I realized that I need to start incorporating more of my art therapy knowledge on this channel because it was a technique that I used so much with my clients when I was working in New York as a social worker. So with that being said, I hosted my first new moon art therapy circle last Sunday. And in case you missed it, don't worry at all because I will be hosting an art therapy circle every single month. So make sure that you follow me on my Instagram page so you can join the next circle. It was such a powerful, fun, and unique space that I felt called to recreate the activity that we did. We will not be doing the guided breath work and guided meditation that was also offered a part of this live circle, but nonetheless, you can still practice this activity on your own time. And if you have any questions about it, or you just wanna share the revelation that you've had message okay let's get started make sure you're in a quiet and distraction free place you can even turn on some nice soothing binarial beats or maybe just some calming music that you really enjoy also begin to activate your heart chakra by drinking a warm tea or cacao use any material you have at home allow your intuition to guide your selection don't overthink it and follow your instincts I will be using watercolors because I enjoy how easily this material can blend with other colors and spread across the paper. Next, you will need a canvas or piece of watercolor paper. Once you have this, you want to make a line in the middle. It could be thick or it could be a thin line, whatever you feel called to do. The left side of your paper is going to be the side where you release the emotion, belief, or experience that is making it difficult for you to embody more self-love. So before you dive into the releasing side of your page and expressing this feeling, I want you to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, conducting a body scan and noticing where the sensation that represents the feeling, emotion, or experience that you're releasing lies within your body and observing the message that this sensation is trying to tell you. So you wanna start with the top of your head, your crown chakra, and work your way down your chakras to your root chakra, which is at the bottom of your spine. Now, it's time to have some fun and express what came up for you, what was felt, as you were doing the body scan and don't overthink it select the color that you believe closely expresses this emotion belief or experience and just allow your intuition to take over and just creating different shapes textures line marks that feel good and right in this moment before you move on to part two of this activity, I want you to observe the picture that you have just created. Observe the physical representation of what you're feeling. And as you observe it, breathe and feel the detachment from this feeling. You can see what it looks like rather than feeling it and holding it inside your body. 
Now that you've taken this moment to observe the art that you have released and noticing what that looks like, we are going to now tune into your heart. And to feel this energetic connection and to activate your heart, you can even place your hands on your chest. And with this placement of putting your hands on your chest, I now want you to close your eyes and to breathe into this space, really placing all of your attention and your focus into your heart. And after a couple of deep breaths, I want you to ask your heart, what do I need to support this feeling that I have released? How can I show this feeling and myself love? And remember, we are being open to receiving the insight. So don't overthink it and don't push yourself to try to find the answer. Allow it to flow to you. And notice the first thing that comes up. Now, let's express this love and support onto paper. Once you've finished, observe both images, noticing the release and what your embodiment looks like. Most importantly, give gratitude to your body, mind, and soul for this experience that has allowed you to be open to let go and receive. Hang your painting up as a reminder that the feeling you released does not define you or own you and to guide you in what you want and need more of in your life. Wow, how are you feeling so far? Let me know in the comments below what has come up for you and just your overall experience with this art therapy practice. So to continue setting the intention of embodying more self-love, you can now journal about what this experience was even like for you, thinking about the colors you used and what they represented and thinking about how you felt during each part, during the release and during the welcoming. And reflect on what actions and activities you can start doing to help you incorporate and feel more of this feeling that you have welcomed on your day to day. I look forward to chatting and hearing about this experience and how it went. And also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page so you can join the next Art Therapy Circle in June. Until the next video, I am sending you so much love and gratitude. Let's spread the knowledge learned today and share this video.